Now there are four basic rules that you need to remember as far as using the flight computer are concerned. And the first rule is how fast always goes first. Sometimes you know the how fast because you'll be told. Or you will figure out that your airspeed or ground speed is, let's say, 138 miles an hour. Sometimes the way you know the how fast is, you know you covered, for instance, 23 miles in 10 minutes, and that tells you how fast you're going. Basically what you do is you set up a ratio on the flight computer of the miles to the minutes, and once you've got one setting in there, you can look at any number of minutes or any number of miles and always figure out how many minutes it'll take you to go a certain distance, how much distance you can cover when you have a certain amount of time. The second rule to remember on the flight computer is miles are always on the outer scale. And if you look back at the 60 on the outside scale of the flight computer, it will remind you on the right side of the 60 that distance or miles are always on the outside scale of the flight computer. Well, if miles are on the outer scale, where do the minutes have to be? Minutes are always on the inner scale of the flight computer, and hours are on the far inner scale. And the last thing to think about is, does it make sense? Does the answer I just came up with make any sense at all in terms of the kind of airplane and the kind of situation that I'm in? We sometimes have people sit there and calculate away and say, okay, I just figured out that my Cessna 172 just covered 900 miles in an hour. Well, you know something? Most Cessna 172s won't do that. It's much more likely that it covered 90 miles in that hour than that it covered 900 miles in an hour. Now, the other questions may not be quite so obvious, but always, if you apply the test, does it make sense? Is it a logical result? Is it physically possible in this situation to do that? That's the final rule you'll always need to look at when you come up with an answer using the flight computer. So let's recap those four rules because they're important. When you're using the flight computer, how fast always goes first on the circular slide rule side of the flight computer because it's the most important thing that you have to put on there. Miles are always on the outer scale of the flight computer. Minutes are always on the inner scale and hours are on the far inner scale. And the most important rule of all, number four, does it make sense? Does it make any sense when I get done calculating it out?